everybody I am about to get lunch started so for lunch today I made some homemade peanut butter I showed this to y'all in my last vlog so I'm gonna use my homemade peanut butter with some jelly and make the kids some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch um Natalie wants a ham sandwich though so I'm gonna fix her a ham sandwich everybody else wants peanut butter and jelly with mayonnaise okay she said her ham sandwich with mayonnaise this peanut butter y'all is so good the kids were eating it like straight out of the jar the day that I made it Peanut butter and jelly. Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday. It's already Monday again, y'all. Um, but it's Monday, it's May the 9th. I've still got wet hair for my shower. I haven't blow dried. I probably just gonna let it air dry today, honestly, because we don't have anywhere to go today. It's kind of just be at home, to get things done kind of day. Like, I'm trying to get a lot of laundry done. Um, school work done and kind of making some packing lists because we are leaving for vacation soon and I'm super excited about that so we've just got a lot of things to get done this week Friday this Friday is our last day of school for summer break which like we're all just super excited about except my three older girls they go to private school and their last day is the 19th which is next week so they're not far behind us so anyway I am going to make coffee make some packing lists help kids with schoolwork and also just get a lot of cleaning and things like that done that I need to get done today. We are super excited about vacation though. Um, we got a cabin that has its own indoor pool and it also has like a movie theater room where you can have like movie night. It's just super awesome so the kids are like totally excited. So we're just kind of finishing up some things this week um, to prepare for that. Trying on bathing suits to see what fits and what doesn't, and whoever needs any bathing suit this year. Maybe that's gonna be your favorite part. Yes. I just got a package from Amazon in the mail. Girls want to check it. I ordered this like yesterday or the day before, and it's just some protein powder, chocolate protein powder. I have a recipe that I wanted to try. It's a, it's a banana chocolate peanut butter smoothie. So I'm excited to try this. I got a big thing of this to keep in our pantry. This will last us like forever. You saying hey? Are you saying hey? <laughs> As soon as I turned the camera on, she started waving. You know what to do, yeah. All right, so everybody wants an afternoon smoothie. So I'm gonna try this recipe that I have. It is a, let's see, a chocolate peanut butter protein shake. So I'm going to go ahead and make this real quick. I've got all the things I need to make it. All right, so I'm doubling this recipe. The first thing I'm going in with is a whole cup of milk. And now a half a cup of the protein powder. I'm going in with just a little bit less than half a cup. Just a little less than that. Because the original recipe calls for one fourth cup before I doubled it. Now we're gonna add in half a cup of peanut butter. Now I'm going in with two bananas. I'm just breaking those in half. And last, I'm going in with three cups of ice. All right, so we're gonna start on low and then kind of increase the speed until it's creamy. I just tasted a little bit of it on a spoon and it's actually really, really good. The smoothie? Mm -hmm. And taste it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like chocolate? Smoothie Wait, for you? Sissy's get one. Yeah, sissy has got one already. Uh. All right, it is almost oh, dinner time already. It's a little bit after three. And I have decided for dinner tonight to do a meatless Monday. So we've done this before where we just like cook a bunch of different sides and we don't have meat with that. So that is my plan for tonight. And I think what I'm gonna do is green beans, um, some fried squash, cucumbers and tomatoes, and let's see, I had something else in my mind. Cornbread, did I already say that? 
I don't remember, I wrote it down this morning. I was making out our menu for the week and I was like, that sounds good just to do a bunch of like sides. And I already have everything that I need to do this. I already have the squash, I have the tomatoes, cucumbers, I have the green beans, cornbread. So I was like, why not? Let's just do a meatless Monday night. We used to do this before, but anyway. I'm gonna, since it's a little bit after three, I'm gonna start my green beans first because I like my green beans to cook for a long time. That way they get really good and soak in all those juices. So I'm gonna get the green beans put on. And then around five probably we'll start cooking the rest of everything else. I've got my pot out. I will show you my green bean recipe. I know I've, sh I've shared it before like a long time ago, but I always get new people asking me how I make my green beans. I'm gonna show you right now how I do my green beans. So first I'm going in with two large cans of green beans. I do drain the juice off, off of it just because I use my own um, stuff. I use chicken broth instead of water or green bean juice. All right, now I'm going in with a whole carton of chicken broth. I'm adding just a little bit of water just so I have enough to cover all the green beans. All right, now I'm gonna chop up some onion to go in there. All right, now I'm gonna add some onion in here. Now I'm going in with some bacon grease. I will either use bacon grease or cooked up bacon, whichever one I have. I don't have bacon grease. Now I'm going in with some pepper. Now I'm gonna put the lid on this and let it cook. That was actually the wrong lid. I'm gonna take that one off and put this one on. All right, so now I'm gonna start the cornbread. I'm gonna start getting the squash all cut up now so that I can fry this. I don't do a lot of frying with food, but I love some fried squash. All right, so I've got the water going over there for our mac and cheese. Once that starts boiling, I'll add the noodles. I've got this over here. I'm gonna get the squash started in there. Green beans, cornbread is done and out. And then I'll just chop up the veggies last minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some oil heated in here for our squash. So in this bowl, I have just mixed together some cornmeal, salt, and all-purpose flour. I didn't really measure this. I'm just kind of going with it. after dinner time now that was so good it was perfect everybody loved it the squash I was kind of worried about it because y'all could probably tell like some of it was really dark thought it was burnt but it was actually really good and it all got gone except two pieces so anyway we're outside now walking down here with Emily her chore now is to get all of the eggs every evening so she's out here collecting eggs from the chickens how many eggs did we get oh just one tonight that's odd we usually get how many do we usually get 12 yeah we get a pretty good bit or 20 so y'all this little picnic basket here that she collects eggs in how old is this thing i don't know you got it for your birthday one year right when you were like six mm -hmm. yeah emily got it for her birthday from a friend one year she was like six years old and she's about to be 12 so and there's no telling how old it was when she got it because i think my friend got it like a little antique store or something so yeah <laughs> that's our little egg collector and they also use this to like do picnics in and stuff it's just a cute little basket 
Emily said she wanted boiled eggs for lunch tomorrow, so she put her two eggs on to boil. All right, so it's a little bit after seven and we're finally out for our walk. We've went a little ways. I wanna go a little bit further. Every night I'm taking it just a little bit further, which last night I didn't walk at all because I just didn't feel like it. We'll see how far we go. I actually put on my good tennis shoes tonight here lately. I've just been like slipping on my, my flip flops or my sandals because I haven't been going far, but I got on my good shoes tonight. And we're gonna see how much we can walk. Uh -huh. 